my dear lord now i have complete experience concerning the worldly opulence mystic power longevity and other material pleasures enjoyed by all living entities from lord brahma down to the ant as powerful time you destroy them all therefore because of my experience i do not wish to possess them my dear lord i request you to place me in touch with your pure devotee and let me serve him as a sincere servant parvat by sri lopal by studying srimad bhagavatam every intelligent man can get experience like that of pralhad maharaj through these three kali incidents mentioned in this great literature of spiritual knowledge by following in the footsteps of pralhad maharaj one should gain to experience that all material opulence is perishable at any moment even this body for which we try to acquire so many sensual pleasures may perish at any time the soul however is eternal nahanyati hanyamani sharire the soul is never vanquished even when body is destroyed an intelligent man therefore should care for the happiness of the spirit soul not for the body even if one receives a body with a long duration of life like those of lord brahma and the other great demigods it will also be destroyed and therefore an intelligent man should be concerned with the imperishable spirit soul tode anuba to save oneself one must take shelter of a pure devotee narottam das thakur that for says chhadiya vaishnava seva nistar pai che keva if one wants to save himself from metal nature some slots which arise because of the metal body one must become krishna conscious and try to fully understand krishna as stated in bhagavad gita janma karmam cha me divyam evam jubeti tatvata one should understand krishna in truth and this one can do only by serving a pure devotee das prahlad maharaj prays that lord narsingh dev place him in touch with a pure devotee and servant instead of awarding him material opulence every intelligent man within this metal world must follow prahlad maharaj mahajan ji no gata sapanta prahlad maharaj didn't want to enjoy the state left by his father rather wanted to become a servant of the servant of the lord the illusory human civilization that perpetually endeavors for happiness through material advancement is rejected by prahlad maharaj and those who strictly follow in his footsteps there are different types of material opulence known technically as bhukti mukti and siddhi bhukti refers to being situated in a very good position like a position the demigods in the higher planetary systems where one can enjoy material sense gratification to the greatest extent mukti refers to being disgusted with material advancement and thus desiring to become one with the supreme siddhi refers to executing a severe type of meditation like that of the yogis what an eight kinds of perfection anima laghima mahima etc all who desire some material advancement 
প্রভক্তি মুক্তি আর সিদ্ধি আর পাওয়ার longevity and other material pleasures enjoyed by all living entities from lord brahma down to the end as powerful time you destroy them all therefore because of my experience i do not wish to possess them my dear lord i request you to place me in touch with your pure devotee and let me serve him as a sincere servant ইম্পর্টেন্ট স্টেটমেন্ট কনক্লুজিভ স্টেটমেন্ট So, all should follow in the footsteps of Prahlad Maharaj. Mahajana Ji Koi, Te Satya Man. One should accept the statements given by Panathai Mahajana, your devotees. Mm. Here, Prahlad Maharaj says how worldly opulence, mystic power, longevity and material pleasures enjoyed by all the living entities from Lord Brahma down to the end are all perishable. At any time, this, all this would be perished. So what is the necessity of the acquisition of all such things? In the purport, our beloved spiritual master, Srila Prabhupada, says, quoting from Srimad Bhagavatam and Srimad Bhagavad Gita, how we are the spirit soul and we are not the body. Na hanyate hanyamane sarire. The body perishes, but the soul is imperishable. is never destroyed. We are that spirit soul. We are not this body. The first lesson given to Arjuna in Bhagavad Gita. And all the human beings should take this lesson. Therefore, one who is intelligent, he should endeavor, try his best to get Pleasure for this self, the soul, not for the body. In Srimad Bhagavatam, that is stated, what is the pleasure of the body? Jato bhakti adhakyam ahetu kya pratyata jayatma suprasidati sabai punso paro dharma jato bhakti adhakyam ahetu kya pratyata जयात्मा सुप्रसिदति आत्मा प्रसिदति दैट मींस द सोल टेक्स प्लेजर गेट्स प्लेजर बाय सर्विंग अधोख्यज द सर्विंग द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड सुप्रीम लॉर्ड वन ऑफ द नेम ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड अधोख्यज दैट मींस वन कैन नॉट कैलकुलेट द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड थ्रू हिज मटेरियल सेंसेस देयरफॉर इज नोन एज अधोख्य শ্রীমন মহাপ্রভু শেষ জীবের স্বরূপ হয় কৃষ্ণের নিত্য দাস দ্যাট ইজ কনস্টিটিউশন পজিশন অফ দ্য রোবিং এন্টিস হেজ এন ইটার্নাল সার্ভেন্ট অফ দি লাস্ট সো 
one should serve the Lord, Supreme Lord, thereby he gets pleasure. And that pleasure, that happiness, is imperishable happiness. The time factor Kala cannot destroy. That is imperishable, eternal happiness. But the happiness concerning to this mental body, the mental senses, are temporary. And they will be destroyed at any time. Rather, all these material happiness won't give you any happiness. Rather, it will bring misery. They sanspada bhoga dukkha jona yo yebhati adyam tabanta kaunte yo nante suramate buddha. Bhagavad Gita is stated. Yeah. Those are Buddha, those are wise men, intelligent men, persons. They want us spare for this bodily pleasure and happiness because they are the outcome of the all sorts of miseries. Dukkha Jona Ya. Prahlad Maharaj says the same thing here. So he says, I don't want all these things. I have experience. Zwalli opulence, mystic power, longevity, and the middle of pleasures will be destroyed at any time by you. As a powerful time factor. Hmm. Then he wants one thing. Please keep me in touch with your pure devotee. Uh, Nija Bhutya Parshum. Uh, I want to be engaged as an apprentice under the guidance of a pure devotee. And what is that? And what happiness or pleasure one gets by serving a pure devotee? The conditioned soul are the persons who are too much attached to this material pleasure, material opulence, acquisition of material wealth and of opulence. They cannot understand it. What pleasure is there? by serving a pure devotee of the Lord. Only those who are pure devotees, those who have got mercy, some such pure devotees, they can understand it, how it is pleasurable to serve a pure devotee. We have many instances before us. If someone is intelligent, He can understand it. How? Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Jeep Goswami, great Goswamis, Sar Goswami, six great Goswamis, very dear to Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Uh-huh. Kicked up all these things. Valle opulence, Janma Isurja Sutta Sri Vire Dhamana Madapuma, Naivaratya Vidhatum Vaitum, Okinchana Gocharam. This is the prayer of Kunti Devi. To take birth in a very respectable family, Janma, the Misurja. Material opulence, Isurja. Material education, obtaining many degrees, diplomas, from many universities, material universities, mm-hmm. famous as very learned person, mm-hmm. Pandit, mm-hmm. Sri, material opulence, and bodily beauty, all these things. Janma is Sutta Sri, Edamana Madapuma. If someone possesses all these things, he becomes so much proud, puffed up. He cannot become 
Dina of Yinja. So he cannot see the Lord. He cannot understand Lord. He cannot know the Supreme Lord. Those who are Dina, those who are very sober persons, distressed, very poor, uh, downtrodden, as Mahaprabhu says, Srimad Mahaprabhu, so now, as an insignificant straw fallen on the street. Then you can do Hari Bhajan. If you can become more insignificant than a straw, fallen on the street. One ever goes on the street, he trades it. Be more tolerant than a tree. This is, these are Vaishnava qualities. Amani manava. Don't demand respect from anybody. Rather give respect to one and all. Important thing. These are Vaishnava qualities. Then one can do Suddha Hari Bhajan, pure, he can chant pure name and will derive immense transcendental pleasure thereby. And that pleasure and happiness is eternal, that cannot be destroyed by the powerful time factor. Yeah. So those are intelligent persons like Prahlad Maharaj, Goswami, that was telling. Sanatana Goswami, Rupa Goswami, Jeeva Goswami, Raguna Bhatta Goswami, Raguna Dash Goswami, all these Goswamis. They had all these things, but they kept them. Takta Turnam Tutsava, Bhutta Dina Ganesako Kopina Kantasi. They kept all these things. Because these are very, very insignificant things in their calculation. And they became Dino. They put on only Kaupin and Kanti and stayed in the jungle of Vrindavan under trees. But they were great persons, very wealthy persons. Uh, what sort of, what kind of wealth they have? They acquire Krishna Prem Bhav. Uh, Krishna Prem Bhav. You understand? Krishna Prem, the love of Krishna, Krishna love of Godhead, is the best type of wealth. It's transcendental wealth. It cannot be destroyed by time factor. And they were very happy. Though outwardly they appear to be very distressed, burdened, but inwardly they were very happy. They get everything. But they utilize everything for the service of the Supreme Lord and his devotees. Thereby they get immense pleasure, which cannot be derived by the acquisition of all these things. material assets, material opulence, mystic power, all these things. Therefore, Prabhupada Maharaj doesn't want all these things. I want only one thing, to be engaged as an apprentice and as the guidance of a pure devotee. Krishna Prem, you understand? This is the same term. Nayanangala dasrudharaya vadanangad gadarudhya gira. Kulake nichitam bapu kadatavanam grahane bhavishyati. 
when that day will come. Huh? By chanting your transcendental name, holy name, the tears will roll down from my eyes. Manam Galadas Bhavya. Badanam Gadgadarudhaya Gira. My voice will be choked up with the praying, with ecstasy. Puloke Niji Dei Bahu. The hairs on the body will be erected. Romancho. These are the symptoms of that praying. Huh? Therefore, Mahaprabhu says, when that day will come, and I can I get such stays, condition, such ecstatic mood, by chanting your holy name, that gets pleasure. The Chaitan compiler of Sri Chaitan Chaitamrita Sabirat Goswami has written, Mm. And that God, Premodano Bina Dato, Dori Drozi Bono, Premodano Bina Dato, Dori Drozi Bono, Daso Kori Bipan Mori. Premodhana Vina Bertha Doridra Jeevan. I am very poor because I am devoid of that wealth Premodhana. I have all these material assets, but I have no Premodhana, so I am poor. Do you understand? Premodhana Vina Bertha Doridra Jeevan. Therefore, I pray you, O Lord. Please make me your servant, let me serve you, and give me th- that wage. The servant gets salary. For salary, that prema. I don't want anything else. Dasha kari betan more deho prema. E bhakta prasana. Gautyandi prachetas. And love Vishnu was pleased with that. Sadhana, hmm? tapasya, and appeared before them and asked them, ask for the benediction, I want to give you. Then Prasita said this thing, Tulayama labena api na surgaun na punar bhavam bhagavat sangi sangasya martyana antimuta kesha. They say, O Lord, we are the residents of this earthly planet, Murtya where there is birth and death. So, one day this body will be perished, will die. So, we don't want anything material, material power, wealth, you understand? Elevation to the Higher planetary systems where there are much material enjoyment. Huh? And also, we don't want to merge in Brahman and also. That we don't want. Only we want Bhagavad Sumishun Association of God. They want the same. If someone can get the association of Sadhu for a moment only, Lobby, faction of government, you see. Eh? So, the value of such association cannot be compared to the elevation to the higher quality system and merging into the Brahman Apollyons. They ask for the same thing. You understand? They are intelligent persons. Prahlad Maharaj asks for the same thing. Hmm? And this bhakti mukti siddhi, 
are very, very insignificant in comparison to the association of your devotion or a movement of Most important. You understand? So, I'll speak in Mudya. Siddhi. Uh, in Bhagavatam, is mentioned there about Siddhi, eight kinds of Siddhi. Anima, Mahima, Murte, Laghima, Prapir, Indri. Prakamyam, Sruta, Drusteshu, Sakti, Prerana, Mishita. Guneshwa, Sango, Vasita, Jat, Kama, Stad, Vasyati. Edame, Siddhaya, Saumya, Astabut, Pattika, Mataha. You understand? The 11th canto, Srimad Bhatma stated, eight kinds of Siddhi. Anima, Mahima, Laghima, Prapti, Prakamya, Ishita, Vasita, Kama, Vasaita. Eight. Huh? Eight kinds of Siddhi. Asta Siddhi. Anima, Mahima, Laghima. These three are Siddhis pertaining to the body. Do you understand? Huh? Anima means to become more than atom. Mahima, great. Become great. Laghima, very light. Become light. Hmm? Then comes Prapti Siddhi. Do you understand? Prapti Siddhi. Prapti Siddhi means to be related with the demigods directing the activity of different senses. That's Prapti Siddhi. Then Prakamya Siddhi. You understand? Prakamya Siddhi means to get pleasure in this life and after. You understand? That means middle pleasure. This Prakama Siddhi. Then Isita Siddhi. Huh? Isita Siddhi means to get yogic power, shakti, potency. You understand? Isita Siddhi. And Vasita Siddhi. Vasita Siddhi means not to be attached to any kind of material enjoyment. You understand? The yogis, they don't want these things. It pertains to yogis. They have this experience that to remain in this material world and to have any sort of enjoyment here is all miserable. So you don't want. We only merge into Brahman. That is Vasitasi. Then Kama Vasaita Siddhi. You understand? Eighth Siddhi, Kama Vasaita means one can enjoy all material pleasures and happiness to the last limit as he likes. That is Kama Vasaita Siddhi, the eighth Siddhi. You understand? That is all regarding Siddhis. Hmm? Then on, Korea. Karma Kori Sansari 
such a family where there are immense opulence like that of Brahma. I don't know. I don't 
I only want the association of your devotion. The same thing. You understand? So many things are there. Again, in the Srimad Bhagavatam, third canto, it is stated here. Konisate Pada Saroja Bhajan Sudullava Pesu Satur Sukiha Tadhapinahum Prabhunomi Bhuman Bhavat Padam Bhoda Nishevana Shiva. Third canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, he studied it. Saying in Oriya. <coughs> One who has this pure devotion to the bhakti, do you understand? For him, this chatu bargo chinta, dharma or kaam bhakya, chatu bargo, is very, very insignificant. Do you understand? Tuchya. Therefore, it is stated here, mm. one who has this pure devotion unto you, O Lord, all this talk of Varga, Dharma, Artha, Kama, Mokya, he can get very easily. But I don't want all these things, all this for Purusha, Artha, Dharma, Artha, Kama. Only I want to serve your Lord of feet through it, your Lord. Again, in sixth canto, Srimad Bhavan stated, Nanaka prasthaṁ nataparo mesthyaṁ nasarva bhaumaṁ narasādhipatyaṁ na joga siddhir punar bhavaṁ bhā samunja sattvādhira hajya kāṅkhi. You understand? This is Chitra Kethi. Chitra Ketu's prayer, you understand? To become the demon, Rudrashura. Hmm? His prayer. Sarga paro meshthitano Sarva bhauma kodo Prasatalo adhipatyo Jogero sampo Nanaka prasthaṁ nata pāramesthaṁ na sārva homo na rasādhi patyaṁ na jodha sīdhīr na punar bhavambhā samanja sattvā virhajya kāṅke. This is prayer. I don't want swarga, evil plan. Pāramesthi sāṁ, the place of Brahmā, you understand, sārva homo padā, to be emperor of the whole universe. Rahatadhipatya, to enjoy the opulence and build a swarga where Bali Maharaj goes and enjoys. I don't want. Yogesh Sampodo, I don't want the Jogsiji. I don't want Nirvana to merge in Brahman Nepal then. Only I want to serve the lotus feet of your, your lotus feet, or lotus feet of your servant and servant. Yes. Yes. So many things are there. Oh, these are intelligent devotees, Mahajanas, they want all these things, they don't want anything. And there is man's happiness and pleasure which cannot be destroyed by Time actor. Yeah. 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 Yeah.